Hey YouTube, welcome back to How It's Designed. In this channel, we do SolidWorks tutorials and design reviews. In this particular episode, we're going to take a look at a metal receptacle with a prong uh, made it inside it to observe the thermal properties by doing a thermal, uh, brief thermal convection simulation, um, setting it up where this is going to produce some heat power and we're going to see the temperature map in the final outcome. Um, so definitely subscribe to the channel if you like SolidWorks or need to learn SolidWorks for your job. So let's just go ahead and get started. So we have this design set up in an assembly. We have a configuration set up with an exploded view that just has the pin separated from the base of the electrical component. Now we're going to do our simulation. It'll take a few minutes, it might take a few minutes to boot up. All right, so we're going to go to new study in our simulation tab. We're going to have thermal selected. We're going to hit OK. Let's see our parts with aluminum and zinc alloy materials. Very important to assign materials first before getting started. Now we're going to go to thermal loads, right click heat power. We're going to click instead of entities, we're going to click our whole entire receptacle to generate heat and do about 30 watts hit OK and now we are going to select we go in our configurations We're going to go into exploded view so we can do our thermal resistance between the parts. So you have an adhesive or something that has a thermal resistance. So we are going to select these faces where it meets. And then on the other side, these faces here. And we'll just do an arbitrary number of point zero 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 four. Okay. So we have that set. Now we can continue to do our convection with our prong, selecting the outside surfaces that are exposed to the ambient air. And we're going to do 150. With ambient temperature of 310 Kelvin. And then for our second part, that's going to be losing heat due to convection we'll do 200 coefficient you can probably get these coefficients offline for the material 310 again for the ambient air temperature This is just a quick convection example. We'll do some other case studies later in other SOLIDWORKS tutorials. So now we can run it. Right click run. And you'll see it'll display the temperature 
on this chart here with the lowest temperature which obviously will be the furthest away from the heat source along the end of this part here at about 348.9 Kelvin so SolidWorks therm thermal simulation extremely useful in electronics and other electrical components um, we can play around with the chart options if we want to show min and max we can display in Fahrenheit or Celsius so very handy very basic convection tutorial in SolidWorks again if you have any comments of why I set certain values comment below um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see other cool stuff and visit housedesign.com we will see you next time